energy room tonight. It is the fight for Florida. First up, McCain is in the Sunshine State today in an attempt to regain some traction in this critical, really must win, uh, battleground state. Meantime, Obama's giving him a run for his money, outspending McCain there by three to one. Uh, with fewer resources. Here now on the left, David Sirota, senior campaign aide to Montana's governor and nationally syndicated column, newspaper columnist. And on the right, Jennifer Miller Wise Dyke, former communications director for the Bush Cheney campaign. Uh, Jennifer, let me go to you first. You know, looking at the Gallup tracking poll, uh, it was narrowing a bit yesterday. Today it expanded to a 7% uh, range of Barack Obama over John McCain. What, if anything, do you think you know, is working for the McCain cam right? camp right now and what would you encourage them to stick with in terms of message and focus right now? Well, I think people are starting to really pay attention to some of these policies that Barack Obama has been supporting. You know, one I think is a critical one, especially in a state like Florida, where you have a lot of small businesses, um, is his desire to have 95% um, of Americans get tax cuts. But what he doesn't tell you is that not all those people actually pay income taxes. So you are talking about people's hard-earned money going to people that aren't paying taxes. That is a classic welfare system redistribution of wealth. And frankly, it's just anti-American. And I think the more that people start paying attention to the types of change he's really talking about, I think that it's the type of things that people just aren't in support of. All right, let's take a look at the Florida numbers while I ask uh, David Sirota this question. David, why is that okay? Why is it okay uh, for people who work hard and, and make money to lose some of their income so that people who don't even pay income taxes can get a check in the mail? Well, let's remember that... that every American or every working American pays taxes through the payroll tax system. So the idea that these people don't pay taxes is absurd. No, they don't pay income taxes uh, is what I said. Uh, okay, they I, don't pay income well, taxes. I, I understand that, right. but they pay taxes. They pay taxes, and the key is, is that Barack Obama is, is proposing to cut taxes for 95 percent of Americans, as, uh, as the Republican No, but my question was, let's go back to my question, if you don't mind. My question is, why is, why is it okay for, you know, hardworking people like Joe the Plumber, whose name's been tossed around quite a bit lately, uh, you know, to to have their money taken from them so that people who don't have to pay an income tax right now uh, get a check in the mail. Because we are a country that has a progressive tax system, or has had a progressive tax system, and that's worked very well for our country. When we have taken the burden off of paying taxes off of the wealthy over the last eight years, we've seen what's happened. Cutting people's taxes, cutting 95% of Americans' taxes, is a good tax policy. Uh, we know that that, that that is the way to build this economy. That's the way to relieve people of a lot of the burden they're facing, whether it's payroll taxes, whether it's health care. And remember, let's just remember one other thing. We give away a heck of a lot of money right now to corporations through corporate welfare. And I don't hear Republicans talking anything about that at all. All right, Jennifer? You know what? I think that this is the country that has just about the highest tax you can possibly have on businesses. And what is the That's effect of that? That's not true. That's factually it's sending, untrue. It's sending businesses over and companies untrue. overseas. You know, if you factually want untrue. to try to encourage... We have the you second want to try lowest to encourage, business tax in the world, in the industrial world. The second lowest business tax in the industrial world, industrialized world, according to George Bush's Treasury Department. If you want to try to grow and make jobs stay here, you have to create an environment where companies can prosper. And by raising Second taxes lowest business on taxes small in the world. business, by raising taxes on small businesses, second I can tell you, you're going to drive them the right out of we business. Have the and I think that's the decision. In the world. All right, the these are the issues. These the are the world. burning issues that are on everybody's <laughs> mind right now, and I encourage everybody to look at them very, very closely uh, before you vote. David Sirota, Jennifer Miller, Wise Dyke, thank you very much for being with us tonight.